All right, Robbie, how about you make another phone call here? The uh, 757, did you see that one? You got it, that's okay. next. Okay, cool. In the meantime, Av Avonlea, that's a great name. A Avonlea, Avonlea, um, says, have either of you fasted for an extended period of time? And if so, what were your experiences? Okay, here's the answer to that. No, no. And the reason for that is because Robbie and I both live with type one diabetes. Uh, fasting for an extended period of time, living with type one diabetes is extremely dangerous. And when I say it's extremely dangerous, it's life threatening. There have been um, people who have been living with type one diabetes that attempt to fast for anything beyond three, four, five days. And they can easily go into a state called diabetic ketoacidosis, which becomes extremely dangerous. Um, and um, there have been some people with type 1 diabetes who have actually died as a result of attempting to fast for long periods of time. So unfortunately, neither one of us can experience an ex extended fast without it, being a, uh, without it being too dangerous. However, um, there are many people uh, who are, have been living with prediabetes and type 2 diabetes in our program that have done extended water fasts and have come back with incredible things to say about it. Uh, to paraphrase um, the experience that I've heard from these people, number one, you think you're going to be a lot hungrier than you really are. Okay, at the going into it, you're like, oh my god, I'm not going to eat for seven days or fourteen days or twenty eight days. But in reality, after one or two days, your your appetite, boom, gone. It just literally vaporizes because your brain has a self protective mechanism that shuts off your appetite in order to prevent you from becoming too ravenous. Number two. People actually, not only do they not feel bad when fasting, most people feel much better when fasting. When I say much better, I mean they go to the bathroom more frequently, they're better hydrated, they have less headaches, and um, they actually have more energy. Um, and this is, uh, we've heard this over and over and over and over again. Um, a lot of people report back to us that they stop caring about food and they don't even really think about it. And then when they go back to eating food, um, it's actually a little bit challenging because all of a sudden you have the psychological association with the food you're eating and how much and when, and that's the challenging part. So if you're considering doing an extended fast, depending on the type of diabetes you're living with, depending on your particular situation, um, it could be a good idea. But uh, again, if you're living with insulin dependent diabetes, uh, I'm going to dissuade you significantly from doing it because it is way too dangerous.